So can your baby skip the four month regression altogether? First of all, let's stop and pause and chat about what even is the four month regression. There's a lot of terror and like fear mongering that the four month regression is going to be awful in the parenting world on social media. So let's like break down what it actually is. The four month regression is that when a baby is born, they have two levels of sleep. They have deep sleep and REM sleep. That's their body sleep and their brain sleep. It's very disorganized and it goes back and forth between the two. Then at the four month age, their sleep becomes more organized and they get two levels of light sleep, level one and level two. Level one is that zoned out, sleepy, staring off into the distance look, often what people call drowsy. Second stage is level two, and this is where their eyes are closed, but they are very aware of where they are. So you'll often try and put them down and they're like, uh, no, that's not gonna work, mom. Sorry, pick me back up and try all over again and cry so much harder this time because they've had a little micro nap during that time. So the four month regression is however they learnt to fall asleep in that first three and a half months of life, that becomes kind of like the gospel truth. This is how they are going, yeah, I need to get to sleep. But suddenly they have to navigate this light sleep, which is so much harder to get through and they get frustrated. And this is where the crying and discontentment comes in because they're going, I know I'm tired, I know I want to sleep, and I know I can sleep, but I don't know how to anymore. And so often we will see babies like understanding or how they get to sleep get more complicated, taking longer, um, getting more intense. So it might've been that you just had a soother before. However, now you're the soother and you're singing and you're bouncing and you're doing all of those things. And so then as the four month regression progresses through it and your baby learns, you're like, I really need sleep. I'm just gonna do whatever it takes to get them to sleep. And this becomes their full long-term understanding of how they fall asleep. So can you skip it? In short, yes. Yes, you can, or you can shorten it. Every child has that change in structure of sleep in their brains, however, how that happens looks different for every child. And one of the biggest things that we do know is that the more a child has confidence in how to fall asleep without external methods to fall asleep, without needing to call someone else to come in and do it, the easier and the shorter the four month regression is. So it can take it from four to six weeks to three to 10 days, which makes things a whole lot easier for everyone. So here's the key. When they are in that newborn stage, now I'm not talking first couple of weeks because they need help falling asleep in that first couple of months, like they just do. However, you can work on lots of other things that are foundational to your baby's sleep in that time. And then as they grow, you're able to progressively lay the foundation for helping them fall asleep completely from completely awake to completely asleep by themselves in their sleep space being their safe crib. This is what we walk through week by week, step by step, little bit by little bit in nurturing you to sleep. And because we're able to lay that foundation gently and slowly, we're able to then help your baby know that it's okay to fall asleep without needing X, Y, and Z. They're able to know, okay, I'm feeling tired, let's fall asleep. Let's go to, go to bed and then when they are ready, developmentally ready with their weight being over 13 to 15 pounds, they're then able to drop night feeds as they grow not because they need it to fall asleep, but because they calorically need it, like their body truly needs it. For example, my last two children were independent sleepers because I did nurturing newborns with them as first time as I created it and the second time we revamped it right after. Um, and the first one, she was 21 pounds by four months. So she was a heavier baby. She had dropped her night feeds well before that because she was calorically ready to do that. This being my third daughter, she is only just tipping 16 pounds. And so some nights she will need a night feed if we don't get enough food into her during the day. And that's totally okay because it's about her journey. However, when she 
doesn't need a night feed, she won't wake up. She will just go completely through the night because she's able to listen to her body. That's what we want, is we want kids to be able to feel safe and confident, knowing that when they do need us, they will call us and we're there for them to meet that need. However, that when they need to sleep, they can listen to their bodies, fall asleep, and have a really good long restorative sleep. So if you never noticed a change in your baby's sleep and they're passing through that um, four month stage, what you might see is that it can be paired with a developmental leap, like rolling. It may be that they have short naps for a couple of days. The four month regression does not look the same for every single baby. For some, we're gonna have lots of night wakings. For others, we're going to have short naps. For others, we're gonna have a hard time falling asleep. Each baby is unique. However, if your baby has passed through that four month stage and you can see that they are enjoying sleep, they're sleeping through the night or having one healthy feed where they are staying awake fully for that feed, then you're good to go. I think you got away pretty scot-free. Have people in your life been telling you, you'll never sleep again? Are you starting to stress about how life is going to change with a baby or adding an additional baby? I've been there. And mama, it's time to cheers your new best friend, Little Wink Sleep. Our nurturing newborns program gently and gradually lays the foundation for sleep in a way that you're able to manage and understand. We use a science-based approach that fosters healthy attachment. You'll be able to let go of the stress of newborn sleep and enjoy this stage, knowing your baby is set up with the right skills. Nurturing newborn sleep includes all our insider coaching strategies taking you step by step, troubleshooting along the way as well as